in these problems, we are trying to find what's called a unit price. And this is really useful. Let's say you're in a grocery store and there are two different products and they have different numbers of things in each, each bag or box or whatever, and you want to figure out what's the better deal. The unit price is a way of knowing how much each little thing costs. Let's say you're buying eggs and a half dozen costs $2 and a whole dozen costs three eighty. Which is the better deal? Well, if you're not sure, you can divide the total price by the number of units. So in the half dozen eggs, I divide $2 by six. In the dozen eggs, I divide that um, uh, 12 by, or the other price by 12. And then I'd figure out how much it costs per egg. That would be a unit price. So we're going to be doing dividing here. And I think in this case, it's okay to use a calculator. I'm going to do the long division just for some practice because I don't think these look super hard, but you may want to use a calculator for these. This first one says Mary pays $24.30 for a pack of nine towels. So we're going to divide $24.30 by nine to find the unit price. That is the price of one towel. So let's see how many nines in two. Well, that doesn't work. 24. Three times nine is 27, so I gotta go two. So that's 18, and then we're gonna subtract. So we'll borrow there. So 14 minus it, that's six and 30. I'm gonna put the decimal point up here, and nine's in 63, that is seven. Seven times nine, 63, there we go. So it's, we'll put an extra zero there, it's 270 per towel. And so if you had another pack of towels that had a different number, you could figure out that unit price and compare. All right. Let's try one more. This says, Miguel says, sells 78.5 ounces of lemonade for a total of $15.70. Find the unit price in dollars per ounce. So how much is Miguel making per ounce of lemonade that he's selling? So we're going to divide 15.70 by... 78.5. Now remember, when you have a decimal point in your divisor here, the thing you're dividing by, you move it and then you move that as well. I'm going to give myself a little more room. So this is really 785 dividing 157.0. All right. So how many 7085s are there? Well, 15, 157, 1570. <clears throat> so we're going to have a decimal point up here. Um, it does say round your answer to the nearest cent. So this division may go on for a while. Maybe I should have used a calculator, but I'm still going to try this. So how many 785s? Well, let's see. There's at least one. Maybe there's two. Let's try two and see what happens. Two times five is 10. Two times eight is 16, 17. And two times seven is 14 plus one is 15. Oh, look at that. So that was actually pretty easy. So we've got 20 cents per ounce. So that's a little bit of work with finding the unit price.